Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? I'm going in blind here, but I want to upload this to Colts 3D. And it's gonna be my first model. I think that I have to voxel remesh everything together though. Maybe I'll just keep the base separate. Uh, let me know in the comments if I if that's wrong. And if you wanna test this, it's probably already on Colts 3D. I'll do 450. Ooh -ee. Ooh -ee. So let's see if I can undo. And see how the number keeps going up and up and up. Okay, so let's try it here. It's 787K. So now let's try it again. We'll do really high this time. See if that helps. And those eyes still look crazy. Maybe I need to subdivide all these little things, these little pieces. So I'm going to try to subdivide all these little pieces because these are all really small. All right, let's see if I can get the eyes and the eyes are like one of the biggest issues. So we have the eye whites. So I'm gonna try to box or remesh these together because this is what I'm getting most of the issue. It looks all right, but why does it still look so bad? I'm a little confused. Let's take the pupils and box or remesh just them alone and I'm just doing it fairly high because they've annoyed me now so now let's see if I can box or remesh them both together pretty high okay I guess that's the best that we're gonna do I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it clearer than that I want it clearer than that though so I don't know why it's not allowing me to Oh, still, I never really use cube sharp edges, but let's see what it does. That's why I never use cube sharp edges. Okay, so I guess the eyes are just going to be like that. Let's take everything. Voxel remesh everything pretty high. Let me save first. This thing is just kind of silly looking. Let's see if I can smooth it out. Okay, it's actually not bad, except for some little ribs here. But ultimately, it's not terrible. That would look pretty cool printed, not gonna lie. It's 2.49 million though. It's too big, so let's see if I can, hopefully this decimates. Okay, so now we're in the double digits. Oh, but look at that. I wanted to be in the double digits. Let's go back up. Let's see if we can do rounded edge on everything. This is just a test. I actually don't know if this will ruin everything or not. It looks decent. Hopefully this helps me be able to decimate it more. Double digits. I think it looks better than it did. Okay, so we have this one. Oh, I think it has to be a STL, I think people always ask me for. STL. Should I remove this? So now let's save it as an STL. I don't think we need vertex colors. And I'll export this to my computer. Okay, that's done. So that's done. Let's open this one back up. This is 44.6. I feel like I just want to send this too. People might be able to get better details from this. So I don't know. I don't know if an STL, maybe that will put everything together. That'd be great. So if I share as an STL, I send this one over. Right, and also I'm just gonna send this over as an OBJ. I just wanna cover my bases. And I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if I can join all this stuff too. Maybe I can. This ugly thing. Let's, uh, let's add a cylinder. Okay, right there. And I'm actually gonna increase this. I want it to look nice and smooth. And we're gonna validate. And let's round edge this. There we go, that's much better. And I'm gonna trim the bottom part. Okay, I'll go into orthographic like you told me. I'll trim the bottom part. Take this, box or remesh it. And just for you know what's in giggles, 
grab the color of this and paint this. And now let's decimate it. This should have probably been the OBJ. We might as well also save it as an STL. And I'm going to go label those real quick so I don't get them confused. The last two are the ones with the cylinder on the bottom. So let's save this as. Let's replace this one. So if I join, if I join these and the cylinder. Okay, so now what if I send this? I'll send the STL. So this one will be joined. And the reason why I'm doing all of this is because I don't know what the right way to do it is. So now I'm going to undo and get rid of the cylinder. Oops. And I'll export this STL. So now I'm going to undo. Get rid of these. I want the cylinder. Everything is labeled. And now I want to send as a nomad. Oh, not a nomad. Not a nomad. Duh. This one. So I'm going to be able to open it in Blender. Binary GL transmission format. Cool. I'm just going to save this. All right. So we saved it a bunch of ways. Let's hop over to the computer and see what it's like uploading this to Colts 3D. All right. All right. So all I did was sign up with my email, make a password, and then I hit new. So I could do like a new creation and we'll title this. Angry Little Bear by Drug Free Dave. 3D model description. description. Uh, cute little perturbed I don't know how to spell perturbed. Sitting with his hood up. He's okay. As a tutorial. Maybe this is a nomad sculpt tutorial. But decided he might make a good 3D print. However, I'm not familiar with printing. So let me know if there is anything I can do better. 3D print settings, I don't know. For so I'll do Angry Bird joined with the cylinder. I'll do both. So we'll do 4.5. 4.5 megabyte STL. I don't know the, I don't know the rest of the size. Uh, let's see. Category art subcategory sculptures and bust animals and creatures. Okay. Tag words. Uh, drug free Dave. Will that work? Toy. I don't even know. I don't even know what else. Bear. Cute. Sitting. Uh, we'll do kawaii and we'll do chibi. All my um, switching text is happening on here too. We'll just leave it. Add or drop STL. So we'll do these two. So we'll do this. And this is the original one. So I wonder if I can open all of these. All right. So hopefully one of these should work. <laughs> I really don't know. I really have no idea. So let's upload this. Angry Bear front. So I'll just do a quick little, it's actually quite dark. And I'll export as a quick JP, JPEG. All right, so I'll upload it from there. I probably should do the side too, but I think this is fine. All right, let's go to next and see what happens. Uh, let's do free. That's fine. We'll just do cults, private use. I don't know. Visibility, public. So let's publish it. See what happens. All right, there we go. Cool. So let's figure out how to share this. So it should be easy enough to find. I have no followers. So if you want to follow me there and uh, download my trash STLs, feel free. <laughs> I guess this I can just copy from here. So I'll copy this and I'll put this in the video, which will be below. And yeah, let me know. Have fun. I'll, I'll try to upload. I'll prepare the other one and I'll upload it as well. All right. Keep drawing. Keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.